Yo, what's up guys, SNLW here, back again with another video, something a little bit different today. One thing I've been asked constantly since I've been doing YouTube is how to grow your channel, and my response is, honestly, I wish I knew. Genuinely, it boils down to consistency, practice, and quite honestly, luck. If you are just starting to pick fed, chances are you won't be as good as someone who's been doing this for years. Just look at my early videos for proof of that. But a uh, little known fact, those early NLW videos were not my first foray into WWE figure content. Oh no, there was a time around 8, 9, 10 years old, before I even made it to YouTube, where I was making stop motion WWE videos, and whole shows in fact, and I called it Extreme Figure Wrestling, EFW. Today, I'm going into the vault, looking through my old notebook, seeing how far I've come, seeing all the ideas I had, also the limited edition DVD that I made for EFW, so check out that at the end of the video. But first of all, please go ahead and like the video if you enjoy it, and subscribe as it really helps the channel. But without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so let me first of all give you guys a little bit of backstory. I have notebooks and notebooks of storylines I wrote when I was a kid. At the time, I probably had about 30 Jax figures, so this was what I wrote with them, literally, just like 30 figures, and I wrote, oh god, I probably wrote like 10 years worth of storylines, it's crazy. But um, this is one of the first matches I actually wrote to do and film, and I'll show you that at some point uh, later on in the video, but there are the notes for it. It was basically like a highlights system I had for EFW, and it, it's based on this. Originally, I just called it WWE, and then I changed it, so yeah, here you see some, some exclusive DVD artwork that I um, made at the time. It is not the best, no doubt about that, but <laughs> you can see where... I kind of wrote my stories. I think I started writing them when I was like 9 or 10. And that's just some of them there. And then um, I wrote like a bunch of storylines leading in using my toys and stuff. So Undertaker vs. Hardcore Holly, you know, I am a, a maverick when it comes to storyline writing. Orton vs. Cena, another fantastic, innovative idea I had. And there we go. Here's the, here's the roster that I had. So if you want to pause the video and look at this, but that's essentially all the toys I had and all the ones I used. So, I don't know if this is in um, chronological order or anything, but we've got a couple of pay-per-views I wrote here. Again, we've got title histories. I had this whole thing set up when I had them as a kid. So, you can see there who beat who for the championships, and I keep massive track of them. So, there's the WWE one as well. And as we just keep going through here, again, ECW title and things like that, I've actually completely forgotten what I wrote. So, now we move on to the pay-per-views I did. You've got Backlash. I think I didn't actually do this in 2011, but I kind of wrote as I went along, and I think it went up until probably even today, which is actually mad when you think about it. But again, if you want to pause the video and look at any of these uh, great storylines, you can. But I just had, you know, matches and upon matches and stuff like that. So there's just so many there, you know, brand split and all that. And more pay per view stages as well. I, I mean, some of these are alright, and then some of them are just terrible. I don't know what the, <laughs> the hell that was, but yeah, again, more like stages and stuff and more posters, all sorts of things. I wish I could be more creative with my setups now, but obviously in practice, it's a lot more difficult than it looks. But yeah, again, more like paper and stuff like that. And then more like stage pieces, in fact, from when I made it originally. So that's quite cool. Again, showing you what a TNA mark I was back in the day. Then you got Hardy, uh, Hulk Hogan's. I don't know how I got him drawn like that. And then RVD, and then uh, the champions who were there at the time. So yeah, my drawings, uh, they're a bit naff. I say a bit naff, they're very naff. But uh, you got more stage designs and stuff like that. Some of these are alright, you know. I might use them for future NLW events. And then more storylines. Again, pause if you want to take a closer look at any of these. But this is what I did mostly just going through and writing years worth of storylines to the point, where's that? That's WrestleMania 33, and that at that point probably would have been like six years away. And then again, I changed the logo and stuff like that, and then I got more uh, pay-per-view kind of setups. My logos were getting weirder and weirder as I went along. I was no graphic designer by any means. I'd be interested to see how far I actually got with writing these, so cut back to me in a moment. All right, so in my defense, my pay-per-view posters got a little bit better later on, you know, a little bit more creative, but even so, I'm still going through, there's so many. Right, can we, got, I went into it in your house system as well. So we got, yeah, this is when I kind of started to stop writing them, so how far did I get? WrestleMania 43, WrestleMania 
43. That is how far I wrote every single month. That's actually insane. Now this is something that caught my eye. Now, EFW. This is what I originally called my Fed. And if you look at the roster, does that remind you of anything? Well, if not, we can go to the uh, the pay-per-view list. I had a 12 set out and then I had, you know, my Titan Tron kind of setup, stage setup. So I was going to have Rumble in the Jungle, Destruction. And you'll notice that I've used a few of these names for NLW pay-per-view. So Retribution, there you go. I had Homecoming, Intensity, Breakdown, Heat Wave, Uprising. This reminded you of anything? Or maybe uh, EFW Intensity, the very first EFW pay-per-view it was going to be. And uh, lo and behold, it ended up being the first NLW pay-per-view. So this is pretty similar to what I ended up going with, apart from taking out Carlito and putting in Paul London and then Batista and Rey Mysterio and things like that. And then, um, you know, I had the first Mayhems is what it was going to be called. It's going to be called EFW Mayhem. Uh, that was going to be the weekly show, but I ended up just calling it No Limits Wrestling because it was simpler, it was snappier. So you've got the whole setup if you want to read through that. It's essentially the first few episodes of... NLW and then Breakdown. There was a lot of changes to this. It was going to be the EFW Championship and then I changed it to the NLW title and you had uh, Undertaker Cena and you can see where I've uh, crossed stuff out. It was going to be Orton and HBK but I changed it to Jericho and then a lot of changes in this. It was going to be for the Hardcore title and Ultimate X and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, oh, there you go. Smaller Cell and Big Cell. That's what ended up being the uh, Triple Cage. It's quite interesting seeing my thought process going through all of these um, old episodes. Again, back then it was like just so... Uh, scrambled and you see the first ever Royal Rumble there as well and then that was what ended up being uh, one of the NLW stages I think from 2015 and yeah it was a, it was a jumbled mess and then uh, that's the official NLW roster the first one I had and then you move on to it was gonna be Hardcore Heatwave and I changed it to the uh, Uprising which had the Elimination Chamber and oh, look at that I was gonna have AJ and Kennedy in that one but I think I'll move them to uh, another match and you can see there you can see what I've crossed out and what I've left in and things of that nature. And then, look at this. This was going to be the original uh, NLW stage. I ended up going with the Smackdown Fist set. Um, and some early scripts as well for shows. I was going to have Christmas specials and all sorts of things. And then I had, you know, test animation reels and stuff like that. But it was all really um, in-depth back then. These are the first kind of notes I ever did. And if you look, it's, uh, it's quite in-depth. But again, now we move on to like the Royal Rumble and stuff and then Retribution. So, you know, there's uh, there's more to be seen here. It was, it was quite uh, a lot written down and a lot of uh, stuff I changed. Again, that was the original WrestleMania script. So you can see what's been added and what's been changed in that. But I went to uh, EFW. So if we go back here, we had, it was called EFW. I ended up changing it to NLW. Bam, limited edition, EFW Volume 1, one and only made, the only one I made, and as you can see by the spine, there was going to be more, because if you put them together, I think it's in here, yes, brilliant graphic, design. this is Microsoft Paint levels of skill here, you put them together and then you get the logo, this is the EFW logo, this is the precursor to No Limits Wrestling, and you can see there, on the cover, I've got uh, a couple of shots from the shows I've been made, and uh, yeah, I didn't do any particular storyline thread. It was literally just uh, ones that I'd written in these books that I thought would be interesting to make. And as you can see there on the back, we've got WrestleMania 34. Of course, that's only because I was writing it as it was going on with WWE. And then I changed it to EFW. And you can see brilliant graphic design skills there with the uh, PNGs. And uh, yeah, you got Backlash there, Lockdown. It was all uber professional. But... This DVD set, it includes your favourite stars. Wow, I really knew how to sell it. Moderate violence, though. I was being kind. And here is the DVD disc. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in the DVD player and we're going to have a look at what this disc has to offer. But I think I've rambled on enough for today. We shall save this limited edition DVD screening for another time. I will upload a video later this week where I will watch this old footage from my Extreme Figure Wrestling Fed, so do look out for that one coming soon. I hope you enjoyed this look and my early storylines and stuff on that nature from my old notebooks. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button as it really helps the channel. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button as we try and edge closer to 30,000 subs and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Also leave a comment, what did you think of my terrible storylines? Have you started a pick fed? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later.